What's up, guys? This is your girl, Jessie. And I'm back again with another video. But yeah, this is my room, you guys. Nothing special. It is a farmhouse, you know. I'm the only one in Jamaica who's making farm life glamorous. Let me tell you guys, I would have never moved from the other farm if we never had grass. And my dogs, you know, weren't free, free to be around like this. So, like I said, we never had we never had the space, you know, I had to keep my dogs locked up. I didn't like that. So, yeah, pretty much everything is still on the land and we're still packing out. So this is Jessie. She's my farm dog. She seems to be catching fly. Jessie, you all right? And that's Cindy. So now I know where Veronica get this style from. She likes to go outside. So Cindy, I had to keep her tied up in the house. As you can see right there and I have to keep her tied up so yeah now Cindy is free Cindy can be up on a boat I ordered something that will increase my duck production I plan on buying some more equipment to build the goat house and the duck house so I'm glad that I'm getting the push now and the support from my fans and I appreciate all of that from my new family that I have 
What's up guys, it's your girl Jessie And today is another day I work with the goats And the rain, the rain The rain is killing me So, yeah So, basically I'm taking you along the whole day with me basically what it's like in the rain with all the mud so everybody basically inside with me and it's a hot a hot mess in here you guys workmen can't come because it's raining and yeah nobody likes this mud that i have to go through so it's about that time so everywhere it is muddy and I have these guys to take out so yeah I lost a silky you guys I had a pair the female is gone one of the dogs attacked them a mongrel a stray dog attacked them so yeah i don't know i wish i had someone to help me with holding the camera or something but I have to do everything on my own by myself. So just me and the goats. <laughs> you can see she's not so happy. So come out. You ready? Come. Girl, let's go. You have to go far in the bush. It's still, it's still raining right now, so I can't vid record anything. So, yes, more rain to mash up my hair, and I got tired of the nails. So, yeah, cut them off. <laughs>
So, the goats are out. Now it's time to make some tea and relax. Yeah, man. I need fencing. I need fencing for sure. Because this could be like this, and they just go out and they just stay on the stage right here. And they just go out, and it's easier to manage, you know. So now I have to go back out and run them back in the area, in the pasture, because they're going over to the neighbors now. So you can see. Yeah. Slippery slidey. Slippery slidey. So yeah. I need somebody to come and help me because the tank, I don't know why they put the tank so close to the house. But it's like the tank is full now. And it's going into the house so you can see the whole of here is getting wet and then so i don't know if anybody can assist me with like what i need to do with right here it connects to the water tank like yeah the water tank is there and then right here is just like a puddle that the ducks like to use but the water settles onto the house you guys so this is not gonna work as you can see it's like they dug out an area to make the foundation of the house but it's soaking water so they should have just like get the backhoe to come and clear up all of this and i need to cut down this bamboo tree also that i'm going to use and fence off the dog house so i'm gonna try bamboo fencing to see if that can temporarily work But yeah, this is the neighbors and the type of fencing that we have is for cows. Barbed wire fencing. So I'm gonna go clean off the goat house and move the rest of the goats back onto the pasture they don't want to stay in the pasture because the river comes down so just you know it's mostly water land the farm is mostly water land so the ducks love it so let's see what's happening here let's see if the trench that they dug mm. it's not full with water but the goats mm. the goats love this Hopefully, hopefully they won't go over to the neighbors because he has a lot of bananas and sugar cane and they love to eat all of that. So I hope they haven't gone over there. Sound like I hear somebody over there, you know. But I hope that this small river here 
is making them stay this small gutter here i hope it's making them stay on the property and not go over next door because this was originally a cow pasture you guys and yeah you know the goats the goats love it here you know it's just me i need fencing it will protect me from goat thieves and my dogs won't get out and attack people so it keeps predators out and it keeps my predators in and my livestock in predators out so yeah guys that's just what's happening right here They seem like they're going to be good behaving goats today and not try to go over to the neighbors, right? <laughs> You're right. Goats are the worst. They're like teenagers. They will test you. They test you and they try you. And they're trying to go in the curry pot. They're trying to be cooked. Yeah, guys. So that's the story. We're out in the rain. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm sure you can hear it. And Louis is out with me also. You can see raining, raining, raining raining you don't know you don't know you don't know So the water is coming off, you guys. I don't know why the star gone over there, so okay. I'm stand for a swim. So the apples are coming in. Apple soon come in season. That's good. It's raining, you guys. And the river came down. You can see that somebody had a party here because you have bottles, people polluting the river. Okay. So behind there that's my land too. So I don't know if you can hear it you guys. That's the river coming down. Whew! And the whole of behind here is like complete woodland. I don't know why this dog went over there. One thing I love with my dogs, they're always checking the farm. Wow. Sheila! That's 
that's like super gross. They're just dropping it like the polluted water. Alright guys, so this front pasture, we have a serious problem. I have to try and figure out a way to keep the water off the land for the goats. And to make sure that the goats don't get hoof problems or anything like that. They seem to be doing pretty fine in this weather though. Um, I was told that boar goats can catch cold and whatever. I haven't seen that with them. Probably because they have a little shed that can sleep at, at night. So they just stay on that. But yeah, it's been raining for like a month now. It's raining for like a month now. I make sure I give them like some vitamins to boost them up. Some vitamin C and all of that good stuff and yeah they're pretty much in the rain i'm in the rain every day i haven't gotten sick my goats haven't gotten sick so thank god we're strong you know we're, we're very strong beans and corned beef with sweet peppers and some muddy foot friends. And I'm making their food too. Mackerel and rice. Guys, thanks for watching. And remember to subscribe, like, videos because hopefully the algorithm of youtube they will help to generate more views who knows but like i said thank you guys